Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Noelle and I review and unbox subscription boxes here on my channel. And today I am very excited to share another travel box with you that's been sent to me for review. Now, when I first had my channel, probably for the first two, two and a half years, I had a really long spiel at the beginning of all of my videos where I told you all the different kinds of boxes that I open. It is still mostly lifestyle, but I no longer can say that I often review beach, travel, and Hugo boxes. I do still review all three kinds, but just not with as much consistency, just because not as many of those boxes exist and not as many of those boxes send PR to me, which is totally fine. So I am always really excited because those are three of my favorite kinds of themes in lifestyle boxes. So I'm always really excited when I get one of them. So today's is a travel box, like I said before. Now this one was formerly called uh, Travel date night and they have since changed it. I think I've already opened one with a new name which is Take Me With You which is, of course is what a lot of us who have the opportunity and uh, who are privileged enough to get to travel a lot, we hear that a lot. People will say, please, can I fit in your suitcase? Please take me with you. And I do try to take people with me uh, with my pictures over on Instagram and obviously with my stories when I return, but I love the idea of being able to travel and visit a country, visit and learn about a culture through a subscription box because that is not always something that we can all do as we know from the past two years. We know that that is not always an option. So I love what this couple is doing and I think it is a great box. Travel boxes are always a great box that you can share with the whole family. So let me give you some of the details and then we'll get into this one. I've been kind of watching their Instagram accounts because they did this one after they actually visited the featured country. So they definitely have it fresh on the mind. It is a $44 bi-monthly box. And you guys know we love bi-monthly subscriptions here. It says your box comes packed to the brim with everything you need for a unique destination adventure at home delivered right to your door. Explore, play, and connect while you create lasting memories together. Discover surprising destinations, popular snacks, learn about the world in an exciting new way. Out of the box, travel at home adventures to delight all of your senses. It will include snacks from the destination, an in-flight magazine that they have put together, unique activities, and they do have a Facebook community. So I do have a code for you. It is Noelle5. That should save you $5. As always, if you ever have trouble with any of my referral codes or links, just let me know in the comments. Sometimes it's just a matter of having them updated. Sometimes I haven't been updated, um, but I do love to hear from you in the comments so please please do uh, reach out I would love to hear so it says take me with you we bring the world to your doorstep just a simple little black box this time around we will open it up there's a little sticker that says contents may fuel travel wanderlust I am currently planning a trip that my husband and I are going on in April rolling into May so it's actually a pretty long trip for us and I'm having so much fun looking up the things that I want to do in each city and I, I always um, I feel bad for some of the travel companies that I reach out to just because I know I ask a lot of questions, but I always think it's worth it to find out all of the information to like craft the ideal itinerary. So this is really cute, you guys. Look how cute it is already. So it says what's inside and they've got their QR code for a Spotify playlist, which I would play for you if I wouldn't get dinged for it. It says welcome to Japan. We've got our welcome itinerary, a monthly magazine, the activity supplies, a bonus New Year gift, because uh, of course it was just Lunar New Year, uh, Japanese sweet treats and the passport stamp. So on your first box, you actually get a passport and then they send you a little sticker stamp to put in each time, which I think is really, really cute. So look at how pretty this Japanese uh, themed uh, tissue paper is with the, are those Sakura? I don't know if that's actually, it doesn't look like cherry blossoms, but and of course we have the gates. Uh, Japan is, and I've said this before, Japan is one of the countries that my husband is really, really wanting to go to. So I'm trying to make that happen, but Japan is not the least expensive country to travel to. Let's put it that way, uh, especially because I want to do all the things. I definitely want to spend a few days in Kyoto. I want to do the bullet train. I want to experience all of the amazing food. So I have to save up. So I have a couple different apps where like the roundup apps. So it's still going to take me a couple years to uh, to put that into our budget, but I will make it happen. Maybe for like a big birthday for him, maybe for a milestone birthday or something. All right, we got a little card from from the, the couple behind this. Oh, look how pretty this is. They came back with all kinds of goodies. Again, it's got that very serene Japanese aesthetic. 
Asola says, Konnichiwa, Noel. We are so thrilled to share this journey to Japan with you. Our recent trip to Japan was incredible and it's had such a wonderful impact on our lives. We hope you are able to discover your own Zen out at the beginning of this new year. Thank you for sharing your box on our channel. Arigato gozaimasu, Mandy and Garrett. Love that. Love, love, love that. All right. Okay. <laughs> I've said it like 14 times. Sorry, sorry guys. I'm so excited. So it says unfold your journey using all your senses as we travel to the land of the rising sun. So it kind of looks like an old school ticket booklet, ticket pamphlet, doesn't it? I, I miss paper tickets like the, the old ones. Um, I know you can sometimes get the printed out ones, but they're just on that like heat paper. So they're like flimsy and it like erases after a while. Like it's not like sturdy cardstock where you're going to put it into your scrapbook. So, welcome to Japan. Nihon e yokoso. Yokoso. So, I'm really bad. Even though Japanese is very easy to pronounce, like all the letters are there, they all sound like what they sound like, but it's hard because we're so used to putting emphasis on certain syllables, and for the most part, they don't necessarily do that. All right, so this is cool. I love how they set this up. It looks like a fun, like, choose your own adventure infographic, but it's really taking us on a journey. So it says your journey begins here. I love the stamps. Oh, they have the little, <laughs> it says, uh, stop one, calm your ears, let your world fade into the background as you listen to the Spotify playlist. And then it says, turn to page seven in the magazine to learn a few key Japanese words and phrases. So let me go ahead. I'm going to pull up. This is the card that kind of tells us an overview. And then here is our magazine. Wow, this is a really good one. Of course, it makes sense because the Japanese are known for their amazing packaging. Even when you just like go to a regular gift shop, like when they send you out the door with a with a bag, everything is so perfect. It's very precision. It's like very Swiss. <laughs> So here is our um, Tokyo stamp to go into our passport. So I'll have to find that and put that all together for you guys to show you. And here is, like I said, our lovely magazine. So you can see it's pretty thick. There's quite a few pages. They do a lot of beautiful articles. They are travel industry professionals, so they know the highlights to share with us. So they have a little information about Tokyo, Osaka, Kyoto. Um, awesome. But they did say on page seven, we have our keywords to know, like konnichiwa, arigato gozaimasu, kurasai, which is please. Um, I used to have to say omachi kurasai, right? Like to follow me, please. Uh, because I worked in Hawaii at the time when Japanese tourism was very big. So it says tour stop two, inspire your mind, peruse the magazine and discover one fact that's new to you and share it with your group. That's so cool. I love how they've set this up so you can enjoy this as a family like i said so i'm just gonna read oh, th these gates i'm gonna see them one day it says i'll just read you the table of contents so we have japan by the numbers so just some like fun facts of course we have japanese zen so probably the concept of zen trip planning tips cities to explore like it tells you when to go for example of course it's always like really expensive to go during the spring when the cherry blossoms are going finding beauty in a broken world hmm maybe that's about is that about like ceramics maybe yes <laughs> uh let's see in the kitchen so maybe some recipes forest bathing that are definitely into that and saving money on your trip we love budgeting so cool so they're telling us how to make Okonomiyaki. Okonomiyaki. Okay. I don't know what okonomiyaki is. Do I? I think it's just, I think it's that like leftover soup where you just put everything in it, like ramen and hot dogs and everything. Is it? Maybe. Hmm. No, definitely not. <laughs> um, let's see. It's a pancake. Okonomiyaki. I will have to try that. I like, like scallion pancakes and things. And then forest bathing. This is cool. I like this. I'm... I'm really into this magazine this time around, you guys. All right, so, and then we have, this is our, like, recipe card where it tells us, one of the most interesting dishes we tried while in Japan was okonomiyaki, and we couldn't wait to get home and try to recreate it. We'll admit it's a little strange at first, and if you don't like cabbage or noodles, it's probably not going to be for you. But we've been trying different versions for a few weeks now, and we found one that's simple to make and tastes pretty close to what we tried at the Michelin-starred okonomiyaki Mizuno in Osaka. They went to Michelin Star. I gotta take more more tips from them. I, you guys, the Trove gals, you gotta follow them now that they don't have their box. I'm still living vicariously through them. Keep your expectations tempered. We're home cooks and meager for travel foodies. And um, so let's see. Oh, they're gonna do a live cooking show. Oh, it was January 27th. 
Sorry, you guys. <laughs> My bad. I missed out on that. But I bet they still have the Zoom. Uh, I have, bet they taped it. Says, it's no secret that we love food and will travel to find the best versions of it. That's me, food tour girl. So while researching our trip to Japan, we kept hearing about this odd creation that everyone was raving about. It basically means what you like grilled. So of course, it means there's no one way to make okonomiyaki and only one recipe that defines it. It is very much up to the chef or customer what it ultimately looks like, just like no two American meatloaf or Italian tomato recipes are quite the same. So then it says about the back and then it says there's two significantly different types of okonomiyaki. Miyaki. First, the kansai or osaka style, in which the ingredients are all mixed into a batter and then grilled. And then second, the Hiroshima style, which in which a small crepe-like pancake is grilled and then other ingredients are layered on top. More like crepe. It says uh, the Hiroshima style, Hiroshima style, uses much more cabbage than the Osaka style. So for our adventure, we're going to make the Osaka style and they have lots of QR codes to help us out with that. Super cool. So uh, I kind of skipped ahead. It says, <laughs> tour stop number three, nurture your body, prepare a Japanese meal with us. And then stop number four, engage your hands, create your own art piece using the techniques of Yukio-e and Mokuhanga. Yukio-e, is that the water? No, that's Suminagashi. It says, open the blue wave pouch for instructions video link and supplies proudly share your art with the group and then finally tour stop number five is connect with your tour group join the zoom room to meet fellow travelers chat with a special guest from japan and be inspired to plan your next adventure so the dates were january 22nd for unboxing together january 27th for the okonomiyaki and then february 11th you guys are probably seeing this after but i still have time to join in on this uh is the uh, japan live together with the special guest so maybe I'll pop in for that. All right, you guys. So here it looks like we've got one of our crafts. So, okay. Oh no. Oh no. So it looks like we've got a couple things. I'm like letting everything fall to the ground. So much to open. This box is like, it always looks so small and I'm like, man, eh, there's not going to be that much in there. But it's really a lot more about the learning and the activities in this box, which I do really appreciate. So it looks like we got some beautiful origami paper i love that with like the hokusai waves we got some koi fish oh these are really really pretty i almost just want to like save these but i do really like origami i kind of brushed up on my crane skills a little while ago so it says Japanese paper folding or origami. So it gives us a little information about the history of origami on the back. It's kind of fun the way they do these little like tented sheets. And then paper folding instructions. What are they having? Oh, they just tell you like the basic folds and how to understand the diagrams. Like the valley fold is, uh, you know, uh, dashed line and the mountain fold has dots and dashes so that you kind of can follow along. But yeah, so I won't read about the history of origami to you, but I will see what they included for us. They gave us instructions for a cat face, very cute, and for a bat. I don't think I've done either of those. And then we also have a butterfly and a seahorse. So cool. And of course, you can probably find videos online uh, as well. So yeah, so they've got some QR codes to check out like different studios, uh, the story of Sarako and her a thousand paper cranes. And then if you want to look up on YouTube, for example, you can definitely, sometimes it's nice to have the visual and watch someone do it. And then all of a sudden the diagrams actually make way, way more sense. So we have that. Ooh, look at this, you guys, the paper cutting. So Moku Hanga and Yukio A, which is printmaking, which I should know because back in the day, my school used to have this cool thing where you got to do different workshops and I did a whole like Yukio A. We actually did like fish printing versus woodblock printing, but it is definitely a very popular style there. Wow. This is so, look, there's this like cut out of the wave and they've actually already glued it onto, oh no, they haven't. So there's some nice watercolor paper here. And then this is going to be your ability to uh, go ahead and I guess you're going to use this as a template. We have our nice sakura blossoms here. This is like more for like a bookmark. This is so cool. I don't even know how we're supposed to use this. Here we have some like koi fish or those big fat goldfish. I'm curious. So it says, many people recognize this famous print as the great wave of 
off Kanagawa by Hokusai, but what you may not know is that Hokusai's work was collected by Monet, Degas, and Van Gogh. It would take years to develop the skills required to create a masterpiece like this, but we've constructed some shortcuts for you so you can create your own Japanese print using the ancient techniques of Mokuhanga and Yukio-e, but with your own modern flair. So watch the videos linked in the QR codes. It says it's going to take an hour and a half to two hours, but this is kind of cool. So they're teaching us how to do our own printmaking. I'm curious to see how the woodblock prints those templates uh, are gonna make it look like it so I don't know if you use it like a watercolor template but they did give us two pieces I think of watercolor paper it looks like and then all four of those templates so cool well let's talk about the other stuff that we got though so it looks like we got some I'm guessing this is ooh, these are those really good Shiroe Koi Bito Cookie. It says the best selling souvenir confection made in Sapporo, Hokkaido, boasts a light chocolate filling sandwiched between two European style long de shock cookies. Trust us, you're going to want more of these. Oh my gosh, these Yokumoku cookies like used to be the most popular thing that you could get in like a Japanese store that's in Hawaii called um, Shirokia. And I used to get the tins every Christmas and they were like my favorite thing. So I'm guessing they're very, very similar to that. The Shiroe Koibito cookie, I'm guessing is very similar to Yokomoku cookies, which is, it's like the thinnest, like think like a, a very, like a much thinner, more delicate Milano cookie. All right, look at this. I love this. This is such a great box. They did such a great job with this one. I'm actually kind of into doing the crafts that they included this time. And I don't, I don't always say that. What is this? Oh, this is more for our woodblock printing. Look, we got a foam roller so that we can do like a foam block. Here's like a rubber, you know, mat kind of thing. So we can do the rubber block printing thing. So cool. I'm guessing this is probably our ink. Yeah, which is gonna be dangerous. Um, a little like scraper tool of some sort. I'm not sure. Okay, so I'll have to look and see what all the, oh, it was like a pen. <laughs> <laughs> that was the tip that goes into the calligraphy pen here. Okay, so that's what that was. That's so cool that they gave us all of that. All right, now I recognize that. Okay, let's <laughs> see what else we got. Thank you bonus, you guys. Let's see. I don't know if I can pick that up with my toes. I'm into the thank you bonus though. Look at our little lucky cat. It says, Japanese New Year good luck charms. So we got little itty bitty paper cranes. Oh, that's so cool. And then how many paper cranes did we get? We got three, four itty bitty paper cranes. I love like itty bitty things like this. Um, and that is super impressive. Like, cause there's a lot of folds that go into cranes and these ones, like if I could make my regular origami paper cranes look that good, I would be very impressed. And look at this. It's like a little phone charm or a little bag charm. And we have our lucky cat. I love, 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 love. So cute. So cute. What a nice little extra. I'm still trying to pick up that calligraphy pen with my toes, you guys, and it's just not working. And then we, did, of course, got some other candies. So we got the Shiroi Kobito cookie. We got the Konpeto sugar candy. Oh, these look, they're like, they're like confetti. They're super teeny tiny. First introduced to Japan by the Portuguese in 1569, these tiny star-shaped popular candies are used for celebrations and given as offerings in shrines. These little sugary bursts of sweetness are so addicting, we had to hide them. They are really delicious. Oh my goodness, where am I? <laughs> and then finally, we also got, these are great. I got these, I've gotten these before. So these are guava candies. This distinctive candy is a hard, sweet, sour, a uh, sour sweet snack made from guava fruit found in many Asian restaurants. It cleanses the palate as a post-meal snack and the sourness also helps with overeating discomfort. I guess it does. I think it's like when you um, suck on a hard candy, it kind of increases your saliva production. And so I feel like that helps with your digestion. I know that sounds weird, but I feel like it helps get your digestive system working. So that's why like hard candies are kind of nice afterwards. Hey, you guys look, I'm talented. I got my little pen. So hopefully they'll give us all the instructions for how to do that. But so we got all of those templates and then this probably goes into the end here. Yeah. So I'm not sure how that, yeah. so that probably goes in. Oh, that probably goes in this way. It's like kind of curved and I can't see how to put it in there, but I'm assuming this is supposed to go in there and then we're supposed to use this pen part. So I'll just have to, oh, ta-da, finally got it. We got our foam roller, we got a bunch of ink and we got that pad. So I'm guessing maybe you might use the template and actually cut into this foam to make your wood block, your foam block, so that you can print 
and roll out your designs. That's what I'm guessing because again, I did this once a long, long time ago. So you choose, yeah, the image using a ballpoint pen, you outline it using the carving tool to remove the material. So it's not a calligraphy pen. It's more like a scooper. Um, and then you go ahead and roll it onto the block with your design carved out. And then you go ahead and do it onto the paper. Uh, scary, but looks really cool when you do it. So I, I love that they included that. So, all right, you guys, so we got uh, two crafts. We got our origami paper. We got our Mokuhanga and Yokio A printmaking uh, kit. We got three edible items, the cookies, the sugar candies, the guava candies. And then we got our little extra of those cute cranes and our little lucky cat and a great magazine with tons of information, our Spotify playlist. Guys, I thought this was awesome. So let's have a secret password. We are going to make it lucky cat. <laughs> so go ahead and put that into the Google form that is going to be linked for you in the description box below. You have to be 18 years or older. You have to have a U.S. or Canadian mailing address. And then at the end of the month, I will go through and use a random number picker to select some winners to receive a mystery box not affiliated with YouTube or any of the boxes I open here. Just my way of saying thank you so much and hoping that you feel like a lucky cat. I'll see you all very soon in my next unboxing.